Welcome back to CSC Staff again and today I'm going to show you how to draw mathematical shapes by using Microsoft UAD. As you can see these six shapes here I drawn them by using Microsoft UAD. So these are just the examples and now I'm going to show you on how to do that in Microsoft UAD. So open your program Microsoft UAD. I'm using a version 2010 of Microsoft 280. Now under the tab in setting there is an illustrations group and now under shapes you can see there are so many shapes there. Sometimes you can use more than one shape in order to create a single shape. Now let us go straight and start drawing our shapes. I'm going to start with the first shape that you see over there. Actually, there is more than one shape in this single shape here. This is a square. In it, there is a, a, a cycle. We have a line and also we have this text box. So, shape number one, number two, three, and four. There are four shapes in this single shape. Now, in our program here, take a square, uh, take a cycle hold shifting in order to draw a straight cycle see that is a cycle in it there is a blue color so i'm going to fill it with another color and then i'm going to reduce the outline to one and now this is a cycle the cycle is done and then you take another shape the second one it is a rectangle but you're going to change it to the square according to the cycle there. Now, this square is in front of the cycle. That's why we don't see the cycle. So in order to send this back, you're going to under the uh, group of arrange, then you click send it backward. Now I sent back the square and now the cycle is in front of the square as you can see now i have two shapes now you can change the color of this square dot shape fill and then choose another color that you want there now the third shape is a line inside shape take a line and then at the center of the cycle Click hold shift in order to draw a straight line there. You can use arrows to adjust your line. Now I have three shapes. The first one is a cycle, the second one is this square, and the third one is this line. Now uh, let me put a text box. A text box is this one here, or you can take this one here. So when you take a text box, you can change the settings align text at the middle and uh, under home you can take that one to at the center now right maybe 2080 centimeter as in our example here now 28 centimeter now this is a shape text box it contains this outline if you uh, if you take it to this shape this shape here it shows it is filled with a white color and also there is outline. We don't need shape fill and we don't need the fill color. So you are going to click on that shape, then format it, and then shape fill, select no fill, and also outline, select no outline. And now you see our shape is done. So click one of the shape, under format, then there is a selection pane. And then you see these are the four shapes that we used to create this mathematical shape here. So to select all of them, you click any of them, hold the control, then you click the next, next, next one. Now all shapes are selected. Now go to group and then you click group in order to put them under single shape. Now you see this is a single shape. I can move it somewhere or i can copy and paste it somewhere else yeah 
that is how to draw the first the first shape now let us continue to the second shape the second shape in your examples here is just a rectangle with the line at the center to draw a rectangle just go to insert it and then you choose a rectangle and then you drag when you drag a rectangle is placed there and now a shape fill change it to the color your desired color and then outline you can decrease it to size of one and to put a line at the center of this rectangle you go to inserting and then choose shape take a line start at the end and then hold the shift in order to draw a straight line there we have our line and then this line we can put it dotted so go there dialog box launcher and after it has launched it you can choose dash type dash type or i can take this and now you see this is a line with a dotted and then to put those symbols you go to shape take line again draw it there up and then copy and paste you can rotate that line like that and then you position it there now this is the second shape you see it is not grouped now I can take it, the first one and then you click control select you all of them and then you group as you can see the second shape is done now let us continue to the third example this one here there are two cycles this one fill choose the color to fill outline reduce to one and then take another shape and this one is rectangle start at this point and then you draw up to there now let me fill it with the same color I filled in that over this one has outlines so remove outline no choose outline and we choose this one here now this shape is in front of the first shape we inserted so send this one backward and then you can see now copy the first shape and paste in now drag it down on this rectangle now you see that is another shape now let us continue to the fourth one it is this from there we add another technique insert it just to take a rectangle draw it fill it with a color the same color we fill the other shapes and now outline it reduce the size put maybe one now in order to make this trapezium you go to the edit point and then you, there is a, a, there are four points here you can use them to edit a shape now i can take this one and then you drag it there now this is in a trapezium you can resize it and now to put a line from this point in to this point i can take this one copy and paste it. then you drag it to the position there
Now to put the square in the corners, just create one of them and copy and paste it in each corner. This one here. Then shape fill, I say no fill. I'll try it as usual. It is one. Now take this one and put it there. Now I can take that small rectangle, copy and paste, put it to another corner, copy again, paste, and put in another corner, do it again, copy, paste, there. Now the shape is done. And the fifth one, these are just lines. So to draw them, you go to insert, shapes, choose a line. To draw a straight line, make sure you hold shift. Click then you hold shift, you see, that is the straight line. And now, to format it to include an arrow, an arrow, make sure you go to this dialog box launcher when you click there you get this format shapes or you can right click on the line and then you choose formatting shape the same dialog box will appear now choose end type choose an arrow and also the yeah it's done now you can copy the line and paste when you paste it drag it down like you see and then insert again another line this one is a line without arrow so you can draw it without it holding shift now it's done now to put a text box here in order to write the angle size you can take this one or insert another new text box to, simple, uh, to make it simple to you just copy the one you created and then you paste it and then drag it to the position and now try to the size of the angle it's very simple just writing there this is uh, let's say 16 and then uh, superscript oh it's done and the last shape to draw is this one this one is very simple just take the shape direct from the shapes and drag down you draw it like that now shape fill use the color used before to other shapes now the function of group it's very important for example this shape is not grouped and this one is not grouped this one is not grouped not grouped and this uh, this one is a single shape so to group this one click the first hold the control click the second and then click the third one you can use that or by selecting them from the selection pane now click group the shape is grouped now you can see i can move it or i can copy it and put it somewhere else this one also is not grouped we have these little small rectangles we have this trapezium and we have this line so click the trapezium hold the control click the line so if you see it's difficult then you can use the selection pen straight connector the rectangle first second third and fourth now you go to format and then select group that one and now this one hold the control or you can use this selection pen to select by holding control click the first shape then hold the control and then you continue to click others that way you select your shapes for example this one I, I, I can't select it so I can use selection pen now 
go to group and then group the shape now this is a single single shape you can see and this is a single shape so there is no need of uh, of grouping it so that is how to that is how to draw to draw the shapes in Microsoft Word. So if you find this video is useful to you, please say thanks by giving me a like, subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you.